Hello, today's daily reading comes from the book of the Apocrypha. We'll be reading from the book of Jubilee, chapter 16, and it reads as follows. And on the new moon of the fourth month, we appeared unto Abraham at the oak of Mamre. And we talked with him, and we announced to him that a son would be given to him by Sarah, his wife. And Sarah laughed, for she heard that we had spoken these words with Abraham, and we admonished her. And she became afraid and denied that she had laughed on account of the words. And we told her, told her the name of her son, as his name is ordained and written in the heavenly tables, Isaac. And that when we returned to her at a t time, she would have conceived a son. And in this month, the Lord executed his judgments on Sodom and Gomorrah and Zeboim and all the region of the Jordan. And he burned them with fire and brimstone and destroyed them until this day, even as I have declared unto you all their works, that they were wicked and sinners exceedingly, and that they defiled themselves and commit fornication in their flesh and work uncleanliness on the earth. And in like manner, God will execute judgment on the places where they have done according to the uncleanliness of the Sodomites, like unto the judgment of Sodom. But Lot we saved, for God remembered Abraham and sent him out from the midst of the overthrow. And he and his daughters committed sin upon the earth, such as had not been on the earth since the days of Adam until his time. For the man lay with his daughters, and behold, it was commanded and engraved concerning all his seed on the heavenly tables to remove them and root them out and to execute judgment upon them like the judgment of Sodom, and to leave no seed of the man on earth on the day of condemnation. And in this month, Abraham moved from Hebron and departed and dwelt between Kadesh and Shur in the mountain of Gerer. And in the middle of the fifth month, he moved from there and dwelt in the well of the oath. And in the middle of the sixth month, the Lord visited Sarah and did unto her as he had spoken. And she conceived and she bore a son in the third month. And in the middle of the month, at the time of which the Lord had spoken to Abraham on the festival of the first fruits of the harvest, Isaac was born and Abraham circumcised his son. On the eighth day, he was the first that was circumcised according to the covenant, which is ordained forever. And in the sixth year of the fourth week, we have we came to Abraham to the well of the oath. And we appeared unto him as we had told Sarah that we should return to her and she would have conceived a son. And we returned in the seventh month and found Sarah with child before us. And we blessed him and we announced him all the things which had been decreed concerning him that he should not die until he had begat six sons more and should see them before he died, but that in Isaac should his name and seed be called, and that all the seed of his sons should be Gentiles and be reckoned with the Gentiles. But from the sons of Isaac, one should become a holy seed and should not be reckoned among the Gentiles, for he should become the portion of the Most High, and all his seed had fallen into the possession of God, that it should be unto the Lord's people for his possession above all nations, that it should become a kingdom and priest and a holy nation. And we went our way and we announced to Sarah all that we had told him, and they both rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And he built there an altar to the Lord who had delivered him and who was making him rejoice in the land of sojourning. And he celebrated a festival of joy in the months, seven days near the altar which he had built at the well of the oath. And he built booths for himself and for his servants on this festival, and he was the first to celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles on the earth. And during these seven days, he brought each day to the altar a burnt offering to the Lord, two oxen, two rams, seven sheep, one he goat, for a sin offering, that he might atone thereby for himself and for his seed. And as a thank offering, seven rams, seven kids, seven sheep, and seven he goats, and their fruit offerings and their drink offerings, and he burnt all the fat thereof on the altar a chosen offering unto the Lord for a sweet-smelling savor. And morning and evening he burnt fragrant substances, frankincense and galabanum, and stracte and nard and mare and spice and custom. All these seven he offered, crushed, mixed together in equal parts, and pure. And he celebrated this feast during seven days, rejoicing with all his heart and with all his soul, he and all those who were in his house. And there was no stranger with him, nor any that was uncircumcised. And he blessed his creator who had created him in his generation, for he had created him according to his good pleasure. For he knew and perceived that from his, from him would arise the plan of righteousness for the eternal generations, and from him a holy seed, so that it should 
become like him who had made all things. And he blessed and rejoiced, and he called the name of this festival the festival of the Lord, a joy acceptable to the Most High God. And we blessed him forever and all his seed after him throughout all the generations of the earth, because he celebrated this festival in its season, according to the testimony of the heavenly tables. For this reason, it is ordained on the heavenly tables concerning Israel that they shall, they shall celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles seven days with joy in the seventh month, acceptable before the Lord, a statute forever throughout their generations every year. And to this, there is no limit of days, for it is ordained forever making uh, regarding Israel that they should celebrate it and dwell in booths and set reefs upon their heads and take leafy boughs and willows from the brook. And Abraham took branches of palm trees and the fruit of goodly trees. And every day, going around the altar with the branches seven times a day in the morning, he praised and gave thanks to his God for all things and joy. Amen.